Greetings Opal's Libraries. In this video tutorial part one of two, I'll be showing how to edit your Opal's portal, i.e. your Opal's homepage. Before I continue, I'd like to mention that if you have any questions or would like some tech support, please call 877-331-1022 and ask for tech support. Or email support at opalsinfo.net and we'd be glad to help you out. Let's begin. You'll have to be logged in with full administrative privileges into your Opal system and you'll know you're logged in with the ability to edit your Opal's portal by seeing the pencil on the right side of the screen. To get started, simply click the pencil and it will open up the editor. I see that I'm in my editor because I see various tools for the center section of the screen. And then at the top section of the screen, I see that I can change my icon. Let's start with that. I'm going to click Change, Browse. I'm going to add a new icon to the top of my screen. There we go. I've got a new icon at the top. Now I'm going to edit the text. To edit the first line of text, I'm clicking the text editor right there. I can change the color of the, of the text, various colors. I can, I'll leave it at, uh, let's say, I'll go back to the green. I'll leave it at green. I can change the font style. I'll leave it at comic. I can change the size. I can also change whether it has a t text shadow or not. This is what it looks like without a shadow right there. I'm going to leave it on. I could change the text by highlighting this and type in some new text for the top portion of my text. I'll click Done. For the second line, I'll click the Text Edit option. I'm going to make this green as well. I'll leave it at Comic. I'll leave it a little smaller than the top line, and I'll leave the shadow on and click Done. The background of the masthead, I could change the different colors using this the little color palette, or I could use the color wheel. I'll just close the color wheel and I'm going to leave it white. All right, so that's done. Now I can move down to the center portion of my screen and start editing that. I've clicked the Align Center option. I've typed in Welcome to our library, and now I'm going to change it a bit. I'm going to go up to my font family, Comic Sans, I'll give it, say, 14 size, and I'll bold it. Oh, I'll change the color to match up above. I'll have it a dark green. There we go. Welcome to our library. Now I can put my cursor here, hit my Enter key, and I'm right below it, centered, still aligned center, and I can add an image. And to the image, I could put a link, and the link could be to your school, to your institution, your church, temple, synagogue, whatever it might be, and you can link it, the image, all images on your homepage can be linked to sites. Let's add an image. So I'm going to, I'm right below my text, I'm going to click Insert, Edit an Image. I'll find an image to add. I'll add these library books. There we go. To change the size, I can either keep it highlighted and click this and change it right down here with the dimensions, or I can use my left click on my mouse to change the size however I'd like. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Now I'm going to insert a link. You can insert your school, your church, your institution, whatever it might be. You can insert the link right here. I'm going to paste in my link to the Opal's help pages. If you like, you can type in a statement, something like click here to access our website. That's if someone cursors over it. I also recommend for the target to have it open to a new window, i.e. tab. That way, if the library users got some results on the screen and they'd like to look at your site, they can still preserve the results and everything they've been searching on the library site and still open up your institutional or whatever you'd like to take them to. I'll click OK. So there we go. So we've got the top left portion with an icon. We've got a welcome note uh, with an image linked to a site. And now let's go down to the bottom. 
I have a library welcome that's a bit thin here. You can fill this in um, in a moment. But first, I'm going to add a tab just for library staff. And it will also show you how to add a new tab. I'm going to click the plus sign. I've typed in library staff. I would like three columns on my tab. I'm now going to uncheck all the other users and just check library staff. This way, the only people who can see this tab will be library staff who've logged in as library staff. It's a great thing to have passwords, to have ideas for the future, to practice doing some editing and adding resources, etc., to your site, and then you can change the tab and open it to the public, etc. I'll give it a color of yellow and click OK. So here's my tab. Let's add a free text box. Here's some widgets at the bottom. I'm going to click the free text because I'd like to put some passwords or whatever it is, some notes. I am going to move the free text box to the left side. Using the left click on my mouse, I'm dragging the four, oops, the four black arrows over here. I'll drop it on the green. Now I've got my text box, okay? I can, um, I can put in passwords and fill the passwords in. Oh, I'm going to change that a little bit. I'm going to make it a bit, I'll use Ariel, I'll make it, uh, say, 14, and I'm going to bold it. Okay, I could fill in passwords as an example. All right, now I'm thinking that this coming uh, summer, I'd like to have a physical display in the library, and I'd like to populate a virtual display on my library staff tab to get ready for the physical display in the library. I'm going to click the library showcase down here at the bottom. There it is. By the way, anytime you add a new widget, it always starts on the right below anything that might already be there. I'm going to put my virtual library showcase into the middle of the screen. Left click over to the center and drop it in. Let's populate it. I'm going to click the cog. And I'm thinking um, perhaps uh, this summer we're going to have a science display. So I'm going to call the showcase science. I could sort it by title, author, pub date. I'll go pub date. Now let's populate my virtual showcase. I'm going to type in science. And we'll get some books to fill up my case and ideas for this coming fall or spring or summer, whenever I'm going to add these. There we go. Um, all right, and now I'm going to click Done. I could also have gone and scanned the books that I'd like to put in my case, and using a hit file, that's another option in Opals, where you scan the barcodes, put them into a file, and then I would just have to click this. So I've got my virtual bookcase set up. I'll click Done. There we go. There's my case. So I might be using this in the future as a physical case, and this is just starting the process. Finally, I'm going to hit uh, a free text again, and here it is on the left. And I can use this for ideas, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and fill it with notes. Okay. So now I am. I've got my library staff tab just for library staff. I've got my library welcome tab. Let's populate this a bit. I have my center section already done. I will leave that as it is. The first thing I'd like to do, excuse me, there we go, is I'd like to add, uh, oh, say, my new items. So I'm going to click the widget for new items. I'm going to move this to the far left. So I'm going to drag this over to the left and drop it onto the green. There's my new items. I can control how many new items show by clicking the cog. I'm going to show 10 new items at once and click Done. There we go. So I'm seeing my new items right in here. I've got my welcome. I can just put my cursor here and add another picture to the welcome note. So I'm going to click this and I'll add, oh, I'll add an additional picture right in here and click Open and there we go. Now I need to resize this. It's way too large. I've got the uh, image highlighted. I can click right here, and I'm going to make it 
250, and you can experiment with this to get the best size for yourself, by um, 200. Let's try that. And there we go. And we'll click Done. So now I have my image and a welcome note. And finally, I'm going to add the uh, calendar down here at the bottom. Let me make the text a bit bigger for you all. I'm going to click the calendar. All right. And now I have the calendar on the far right side. I could, in the future, edit it to show closed days or special events at the library, etc. So for this first clip, I've added an icon on the top left corner. I've added some colored in Opal's Academy and Read, Learn, and Inspire up here. I've kept my background of the masthead white. I have gone down and added a private library staff tab, and I've populated my library welcome tab. Have a look. If you need tech support when you're doing your editing, please get a hold of us, 877-331-1022. Ask for tech support or email support at opalsinfo.net. This is part one of two on editing your Opals portal. Thank you.